good morning good afternoon uganda good evening china good afternoon europe hope all is well you are welcome to today's live we give god all the glory for the new season for the new time for the new day God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. In school we used to say, and that is his nature. Wow. <laughs> oh God. I am sorry for those I've tagged or invited when you're not interested. I'm really sorry. I apologize. I've been warned lately. I have many warnings from this left, right, and center. I apologize. Uh, I'll try to make sure my finger does not touch your nail. I am really, really sorry. Please, you can block me so that the things don't come to your box. I apologize. I don't like taking away people's peace when they need their peace. That one I'll keep doing every now and then. I really, really apologize. Um, but as I said, I remind you, instructions is a key thing in our lives. You're all welcome. Come and we learn. Come and we study the word of God. Life in life, you need God, whether you like it or not. Whether if if you have a name and your name, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to read the book of Jeremiah now and understand these things more. Because if you don't know the word of God and you go to church or mosque or whatever, you go to to give thanks to God to say thank you, Lord. You need this time. Trust me, you need this time. If you're still sleeping the way you used to sleep, if you don't have time to pray, if you don't have time to give God the glory back, this is the time you might want to wake up. Because if you don't wake up, there is disaster coming. Please wake up, stop sleeping, let us go before the Lord and tell him to change the wave. But the wave that was shown was... Uh, prophesied doesn't come to pass it will only take us to go before the lord it has to take us to go before the lord and tell god please change the wave please stop sleeping stop complaining stop saying a lot of words yes you can keep your your whatsapp groups to yourself no one is going to send anything to your whatsapp group that one i assure you that one, I assure you, no one is going to send anything to your WhatsApp group. That one, I assure you, I apologize, and I'm keeping away from your WhatsApp groups. You know, there's nothing as interesting as waking up to messages and you're like, mama, yaki. And what is so interesting, a warning came that we just got out of our WhatsApp groups and church. Please, I am not going to, go, to come back to your WhatsApp group because I am the problem not your friends. Don't make your friends feel bad who are there. Please don't. Enough is enough. Stop making your friends feel bad because of me. Don't, don't put science in things. It is okay. I'm staying away from your WhatsApp groups, okay? Please stop making other people feel bad. Stop making other people cry who understand things. Enough is enough, guys. I'm staying away from your WhatsApp groups so that you don't make other people feel bad and regret in their lives. Please don't. If you don't like something, don't just come to me direct. Just attack me direct, please. Send it to my box, but don't make other people feel bad. Please, don't, don't make the entire group feel bad because you're going to make people leave your groups. Guess what? People have already started leaving your groups. And for you, you're not seeing the point. We need God to come and intervene and take care of the situation. Then you can go back and do whatever your group wants. Please stop making other people feel bad. Enough is enough, please. I request leave your friends alone. Because you're making it worse every single day. Please leave your friends alone. Enough is enough. I told you I will invite everyone because the Lord wants everyone to attend a class. That one I will do. But I told you if you don't like... The class, please, just block me. At this rate, it is something else. I am not ready to go back down. It, it has taken me a lot to come back up. I said I'm not coming back to your inbox, to your, to your WhatsApp groups. 
please leave people alone. Don't stress people anymore. You're making other people in the group feel so bad and staying away. Before you know it, people are leaving your groups and you're wondering why is so-and-so leaving a group. It's because of the things you're doing and for you, you don't get the point. Please attack me direct in my box. Attack me direct in my box. Leave people alone. Enough is enough. Stop hiding behind the messages you write. Please attack me direct. I'm not coming back to your boxes. Thank you plenty. I needed to say that so that you stop making other people feel bad. It is not right. And I said if you don't like the invites, please block me. That one I'll be honest with you. Me, I'm tired of some things. If you're not yet tired, that's your problem now. And I come in peace. I told you, me, I come in peace. Me, I come in peace. Please leave other people alone. Come direct to me. Come to my box. Send me the message that, Esther, please stop sending things that you don't coordinate with your group. I will not send it back. That one I will not send back. I told you that devil is out to attack anything, anyone, to use anyone as the, the way he wants. He's going to use you. <laughs> he joke with the devil. Please uh, stop making other people feel bad. Okay? Me, I told you I'll not get mad. Just come to my box direct. I am ready and willing to walk away. Because I've already started. I, I started walking away a long time ago. Please don't make pe people feel bad. Just let people be. Let them enjoy their groups the way they want. I, I have heard and I'm staying away. I'm not coming back, coming back to your inboxes, to your WhatsApp groups. I am not. You can invite other people. Please stop making people feel bad. Enough is enough. Come direct to my box and tell me, Esther, stop sending things that don't coordinate with the topic of the group. I am willing and ready to walk away. Don't make other people feel bad because of me. Please come direct. There's nothing as strange as disturbing when you find messages and warnings already came in March, how we just got out of church and our WhatsApp groups. And guess what? It is God who created us. Please stop making people feel bad. It's, it's not nice. I come in peace. I come in peace today. You saw the topic, the stranger. Before we start, we are going to pray. I come in peace. But I told you when I come, Esther comes in peace. But the Bible says that I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. He sits inside of me. You can tag as many as you want. You can invite as many as you want. He told me to invite everyone. The tagging, I tag a few. But the invite is for everyone. I said if you don't like me to invite you, please block me. And for the WhatsApp groups, I'm not sending anything anymore. Instructions. Stop attacking your group mates. They are feeling bad. Especially those who know and understand what's going on. Please stop stressing people. Stop being like taxi conductors back home. People just come because they love certain things. Don't make people feel like you own them. God is not happy about the way we do things. Him ending everything is not a problem. By the time he closed down everything, that means he's tired of us. The way we do things, we need to change. And you don't get the point every now and then. There are some things you're supposed to attend as a must. Whether you have church program or not, you're supposed to attend them. After your church program, you're supposed to go and watch Apostle Bunjo wherever he is. You're supposed to watch Never Give Up. You're supposed to watch The Push. If the Lord has not yet talked to you about it, that means he left your body a long time ago. When you grieve the Holy Spirit, he leaves. We all grieve different. A topic came. I said, I'm not coming back to your WhatsApp groups. Leave your friends alone. Don't stress your friends. Don't make your friends cry and leave the groups. If, if, if I'm the problem, please send me the message direct. Stop attacking your group mates. Stop it. It is not nice. You don't, you don't, you didn't give birth to those guys who are in your groups. Those guys joined the groups because they wanted. Please stop. Enough is enough, guys.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of glory, King of mercy, I thank you for this time. Thank you for the night. Thank you for the morning. Lord, I repent on behalf of myself, my country, and humanity. I haven't walked right. I haven't used my mouth the right way. I have put things that are not godly in my heart. As a country, as a nation, as the world, as humanity, we haven't walked right with you, Lord. Our hearts are filthy. Our minds, our thoughts are very, very dirty that you have, you cannot, you're looking for where to sit, you cannot find. Because we are still grumbling. We are still making, doing things that are just outrageous. Father, forgive us. Lord, forgive me for sending things into people's groups when you told me to, to not to take your messages where they are not appreciated. Lord, I repent. Please forgive me. And starting from today, I am not sending anything that concerns God in anyone's, in anyone's WhatsApp group. Lord, forgive me. I repent. Lord, I repent because I defaulted on one instruction like this and I'm making an entire world go crazy. Please forgive me. Forgive us as Ugandans because we're still not listening. We are doing things the wrong way. We are doing things the way we think. Some of us think we are too holy and we are stressing other people around us. Lord, forgive us. Father, forgive us for all those who have not been watching the things you told me to tell them watch. Lord, I repent on behalf of everyone who is not listening. I repent oh, oh, on behalf of everyone who thinks that their own things are more important than other things. I repent on behalf of everyone who does not like publishing others. I repent on behalf of everyone who does not appreciate others. I repent on everyone on behalf of everyone who does not appreciate others. Uh, uh, who does not celebrate others, who don't celebrate their family members, who don't celebrate their churches, who don't celebrate their friends, who don't celebrate their own countries, who don't celebrate the nations, who don't celebrate the word of God. Father, I repent. Forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. I would love to go back home. I would love to go back home. Not because of what is happening. Come and sit here, Lord. Increase in me as I decrease. Increase in me as I decrease. One of the toughest jobs. I love doing things. I love where action is. But this one is something else, Lord. Please intervene. Help me, Lord. And give me the strength to deliver as I am told. Lord, come and teach us. You come and teach us. Come and teach us. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. And Lord, quicken the footsteps of everyone who's supposed to be here. Father, I don't know, Lord, how we're going to do it. I have seen people who are watching another channel. And the channel flips. Everyone is supposed to be here, Lord. Let them be here at such a time as this. We all need help because we all folded in your presence, in your eyes. Father, forgive us. The Bible says that you, you knew me before I was created in my mother's womb. That means you know everything that concerns me. You even knew this day. Lord, you call us by our name. That means you know each and everyone's name. And he said, you have good plans to prosper us. You're the same God in the same Bible. You say that you're the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? Meaning you can take away the lock. Availability, righteousness. The word of God. Prayer. Originality. Lord, intervene. Take our word, come and teach us. Give me the strength as a vessel to deliver as I am told. 
Father, I pray that I don't stress any other person in their WhatsApp groups because other people are being hit hard. I don't want that. I don't want to see friends just walk out simply because so-and-so said this and they, they're like, you know what, this group, I'm done, I'm tired. Yet it was helping them. Lord, I'm staying away from groups. I am staying away from groups. If they want, they will share the messages with each other. They know where to find the messages. I accept, I agree, and I'm doing what you want me to do. That one I had, I was 40. And Father, I pray that everyone is supposed to get this message whether they know me or they don't know me because it is not about me. Father, deliver the message because you are the heavenly intelligence, the heavenly medium. Father, touch every heart, man and woman, girl and boy, old and young. <coughs> let, let them come. I send the Holy Spirit in each and every house. I send the Holy Spirit in each and every house right now because we are tired of faulting all the time. Some people think it's about me and they keep calling and it's like, why her, why her? And what is so interesting, everyone wants to teach. Everyone wants to be seen. But when other people come up, then they start complaining. Every parent wants to see their child up there. But when they see other people's kids, it is another story altogether. There are things I, I don't understand, Lord. I need you to help me understand this part. Yet when someone dies, we all come out and start saying every good thing about that person. But when we are still living, it is another story altogether. Lord, please help me understand that part I've never understood. When someone dies, we say all the things about the person. They talk about your, your nursery school. They talk about whose grandfather, who your father. Your mother, they talk about everything that concerns you. Yet when you are alive, Lord forgive us. They talk about the schools you went to, the games you played, who you met, all your friends, and they love giving speeches. Lord help us. When someone is alive, it is another story altogether. Lord forgive us with a hypocrisy. Father forgive us. And please, Lord, help me understand, because me, I don't understand. And I'm, I, I, I'm too sensitive. That's the other challenge I have, Lord, help me. Some people say those things, why, why are they bothering you? And they keep forgetting that same God, but different bodies. Work on us, Lord. Work on our character, because the character is rotten. The character needs Jesus. Please work on us as we listen to this class. Father, I cancel every voice that is not from you, that is coming from all over. Father, block my ears not to hear man complain. I want to only hear you speak. Every disturbance in the environment now I command you to cease in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't, Lord, I don't need any distraction. If, it's the, the, if destruction is coming from a human being, let them sleep. Let them get sleep right now so that they don't get to hear me speak. Let them sleep, Lord, and wake up when I'm done. Lord, clear my environment. Clear my, 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 my spiritual reign. I want to hear only you, not man complaining. Please, I want to hear only you. I want, Father, take over my mind. Take over my body, take over my spirit, take over my entire body. From the head of the crown of my head to the heel of my foot, take over everything. Now you sickness, I command you to leave my body in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't need any disturbance. No short calls, no long calls, no nothing, no coughing in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sit inside of me and reign. Speak through my mouth. Speak, use my tongue, use my bones, use my cells, use my eyes and ears, Lord. Take over. In Jesus' mighty name, we believe and pray. Amen. <coughs> You're all welcome.
you can come and we, we learn, we read the word of God. Our topic today is the stranger. But before we do that, we have, we have an agenda to follow. Today we don't have a lot, we just have a few, so don't worry, I will not stay here too long. There's one song I'm going to sing in English. I was uh, I was told there are deers in the area I stayed in. I did not know. I met a deer yesterday night, <laughs> and it saw me and it took off. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, this is it." At what time? At midnight. I posted a, a, a video of. I was walking yesterday, and I posted a video the route I used to go to work, the environment. I, 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 I asked uh, Moshavi Dixon to come and teach us how to use social media, why people post what they post. Some of you are mistaking certain things, record keeping for, you call it what? In my local language, Kwedag. Some of you started complaining when Pastor Robert was, uh, putting things on record when they're giving out food. I looked and wondered and I'm like, but all the books you read, those guys take pictures and you see what happened, when, where, how. What is so wrong about him posting things when he's doing work? And what is so funny, when it's your turn, you also take a, a photo. Then I find them on your statuses and I'm like, Do you know why they take photos? Do you know why people have archives? Please, Moshave Dixon, you need to help us. You're good with technology. You need to alert us and tell us why we need photos and videos. What are your kids going to look at when they grow up? What are they going to talk about? What are they going to talk about? Those babies that I see that you keep posting every now and then. When you're talking about other countries, you use their photos, you use their videos, you use videos of 19, I don't know what. Billy Graham, 1960 something, 90, I was like. And when you, your current situation, you're taking pictures, it's a problem, right? Even in Jesus' days, Everything that was documented. Which kind of Bible do you read? This is sad. And you're in church complaining. Because your pastor doesn't know that revelation. It is so sad. You can disappoint when it is you doing it, you want all of us to be he, 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 he. When it's other people, it is a problem. Really, church? You can quench someone's fire. People are praying and it is seeming God to intervene. It is like you mop the house. Then the duck, the chicken, the human being walks in with their mud and they step on the carpet you've just hoovered. Which carpet? A white one. That is what you guys are doing. People are spending sleepless night before the Lord interceding for us. And for you, you walk in with your mud shoes. Then you come in a line, soldier-like, the duck. Then the duck does warrrr on the carpet. Do you know how much it's going to cost you to go and take that carpet for dry cleaning during COVID-19? The Lord is trying to build it back up. You're busy stealing the cement. You're busy stealing the concrete. You're busy because you're used to corruption and you keep saying the big man corrupts, yet you yourself, you're stealing the cement. And we have rotten roads. And 
until Uganda you will wake up. I told you. People are praying, interceding, trying to get back together. But for you, like, no, 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 they will not go. Then I saw a witch doctor, and I'm like, hey, witch doctors, what's up for you? It's Facebook for you. Our kids are into what we call homeschooling. And the mama, tata, you're tired. I told you originality we are different you're complaining why is she starting with that that is not you i told you when i come near the holy spirit is inside me i also sit on this side to to listen and learn and put in practice those things of yours ended a long time ago ended when covid 19 is 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 not yet here when covid 19 things changed the wave changed Now the Lord is using your own character. The Lord is using your own originality where you come from. Not the places you went to. Not the schools. Not the, the workplace. Why? Because he got tired of us. He got tired of us. See, he got tired of us. The Lord is tired. He needs a better you. He needs someone better. He wants a new brand. I told you, Uganda, you're giving birth. But you're delaying yourself. And guess what? The baby's getting tired. And when the baby starts getting tired, instead of pushing, they're like, we go to the theater. Makans. And this time around, there's nothing like a mass. Kichi, kichi, kichi. Because the baby has to come out. I told her. Heavenly intelligence. Never give up and never give in. Push. Then stand. You can never stay in the love world. You have to stand. And guess what they say? Walk so that that. Walk. 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 Exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. And we all know who is doing the exercise. Now I started seeing other people who are doing exercise. Guess what? Don't forget the 7,000. Esther 414. Walk, walk, and you more. Walk, walk. Before we know it, the intercessor has to come in. Deliverance has to come in. Deliverance has to come in. Pastor Tom Mugira has to come in the mix. Because your spirit needs exercise too. Intercessors have to come in the mix. Your, your body needs exercise. Your spirit needs exercise. Because the push did the push of the baby. Push is pray until something happens. He pushed the baby. But guess what? The intercessor has to lifestyle. Oh, prayer is a lifestyle. Oh. A lifestyle. You don't want to pray. You want to only pray that particular time when it pushes it there. No, 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 no. Intercessors. I am glad I am seeing many people joining the intercessors for Uganda. I was like, yala, maya, hey. Lifestyle. Oh, but also the social media is playing and acting up. I'm like, heavenly media, intervene, intervene, so that people's information is not misused. Deliverance is food to the children. I told you, read your Bibles, everything is there. We are used to. Pastor will come with a word. Guess what? Pastor is in his house. Sometimes he gets tired and sleeps. Now you're your own pastor. Read your Bible. Go buy the Bible if you don't have one. You will always move with your phone. Then it blacks out and Pastor says, open your Bibles in the book of Ezekiel. You don't even know where Nehemiah is. Your phone you blacked out. Now you're looking like enough is enough. Ugandans, enough is enough. Style up. You want to go back into your programs. You want to go back into I hear men get together, women get together, Suji this one, Zumba. Excuse me, do Zumba on your own in your house. Want 
just the good sense. Why don't you buy it? We are coming to study about uh, instructions also. Every time I'm like, my God, this, what's wrong with these guys? Someone sleeps on their knees and you come and step in the prayer by behaving like a duck. Pastor Robert talked about a woman, they were praying. And she got so tired of how people are treating her and she said, Lord, let someone get a chimbata. You, you, you're not a legend. You know, you don't know the duck. I grew up and when we were eating it, and it's coming with its children and it gets the time when you're eating, then it does. Warr. I was like, my friend, I can beat Jaja's duck because it doesn't have manners. That's how we behave. I was like, I'm going to beat Jaja's duck one of these days. Why is it coming when it is time to eat? That is how we are behaving. This is absurd. And you don't want to be told. You're like, no, teach and leave. Please, you bought your data, you can switch off. You... Everyone is in their house. Wisdom, heaven, intelligence. And you also want to go to another level, right? You're not going to go to another level when one you when you default a class. Ask those who go to school if they ever gave them the marks when they failed. Someone told me, Hey, school, yo, yo, my I cannot attend your things. Guess what? Stay home, please. Turn off your phone. This is what and someone said, I touch money if I have it to yamba. Guess what? When you die, the coffin is for one person. It is, uh, grave is the only business that starts from up down. And you go alone. You don't go with anyone. That is why when marriage make a vows, they say, till death do us what? The season we are in is for everyone, for himself and God for us all. When you die, you don't go with your kids. Corona took parents took kids and they left their own. Now, if you think you're going to be breastfed, the time for breastfeeding ended before Corona. You don't want to be told the bad you're doing so that we step on it and just cover it. That season ended. I told you I met a deal. Please, if people who understand these things, teach people why they take pictures and post them. Why they take videos and post them. Please teach people. They don't know. That's why they keep complaining. If you find someone complaining, that means take off social, social distancing. Just you run. I told you, just run. The Sonic Hedgehog style. Just you run. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Apply. Apply the legs. Elijah's time. He left his... He's a servant and it rained on him. Apply, 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 apply. Even if it's your mother, father, or sister, take off if even if it's your wife or husband, they will take you to hell. Apply and run, take off, take cover, take cover. The enemy is out there eating your people. Take off. I told you this is not a season to make friends. Because you failed to make friends, the right friends, then. The friends you made thought you were your friends, they are not your friends. Corona came and undressed us. We are all naked and we need the Lord to dress us up before he takes us. You need to style up. Enough is enough. Stop pretending to be someone's friend. You're not. You don't know what it means to be a friend. It is only Jesus who is a friend. A friend never backbites a friend. A, a friend, when you make a mistake, a friend sits you down and they, they talk to you in love. I am staying away from your WhatsApp groups. Stop making other people feel bad because of me. I cannot wake up to such messages every day. Talk, send them to my box. Don't send them to your groups. I can take in anything. Send the message to me. I come to your group and I apologize. The Lord taught me how to, to forgive and repent. That one, I don't have any problem. It is from the bottom of my heart. And I never get annoyed with you. Guess what? Because the Lord told me when I get annoyed, I look like a snake. 
I'm not about to spit poison. Not now, not ever. I love you too much to see you die. I love you too much to see you lose your kids. People are praying. People are repenting on your behalf. They don't even know you. Your pastors are praying. Your pastors are spending sleepless nights there. The only ones who are in the church now. And you're busy devoting all the time. Who does that? You don't have love. You don't know what it means to love. You need to be taught to love. Please stop stressing anyone. I am the problem. Send the messages to me. As the deer pant is full, the waters of my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You. So my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, and you to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you you are my friend and you are my brother even though you are a king I love you more than anything other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit shield yield. You alone. Oh, my heart's desire and I long to worship you. As the deer, you as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you.
next song <coughs> if you have your 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 hymn book in the english version it's take the name of jesus you can follow with the luganda version then you'll know what we are singing song is in the cross you listen to the Uganda version and go and sing in English if you want originality yes Oh, 
nos alabamos, no muga e viamos, no usa y no usa, como salabago, o cutu salorita, e agufira con cacanos en pumute, mochisiquiri. song what a fellowship what a joy divine son you kid a move la move and gay gandhi moyo i gandhi gandhi moyo a son you kid a Gandhi, Moyo, I in Zaviona, Funo Mukisa, Nemi Rembe, Gandhi, Moyo, I in Zaviona, Guenera, Nuera, Nuera, Nuangle, Ga Molina, Nuera, Nuera. Moyo a in Zavionan Kuvori Tessa Nulinji Kuanga at Kulebera O Musana Gue Waka Burijo Kuanga at Kulebera Guenuera Guenuera Nuera Wangure Gamuri Nyare Nuera Sikuri Banuera E Nuera Moyo Ainza Avionam Chinchu Chechinzo Kuntisa Nandi Moyo Ainza Aviona Bera Nedembe Liji Urijo Ngadi moyo aiza yuna kunywera nywera o wangure nga muri nyaye nywera sikulimba o nywera moyo aiza yuna the last three songs will be sung after. Some few remarks to make before we go into the topic, the strange. Grieving is done different, but be careful as you are grieving. It opens doors and closes doors. So as one is doing it, involve God and ask. In the Old Testament, they used to grieve for 40 days. Then Jesus came in the mix. The season we are in is one of the toughest seasons that people are dying every day. That you have to bury your own alone or on social media. You don't sleep at the grave. You go back home, shower, and God wants his work done. Why you or you yourself, you don't have time. You're not sure of your tomorrow. You're only sure of that particular hour you're there. I stopped procrastinating. We don't have time. 
Oluganda kabi kari mukuruwa. The problem is when you delay. Ian Kajimbo, you wrote that some people died at 25, but they die at 75. Guess what? God told Abraham, you'll give him a son at 75. He gave birth at 100. 75 plus 25, you get what? It is you who wrote those things. And I just came and read. I told my friend, excellent. I love reading your things. I love seeing the videos and everything. For me, they speak. Abraham delayed himself for 25 years and got the child at 100. If you're ready to get anything the Lord has promised at 100, be ready for the right. I said grieving is done different, but be careful as you are grieving. It's op it opens doors and closes doors. Through grieving, some people get the diseases of the person who died. Through grieving, you chase the Holy Spirit. Why? For you, you're busy crying and the Holy Spirit wants his work done. So as one is doing it, involve God and ask God to tell you or help you on how you do it. Because during that day or time, human is weak and the devil is stronger because he works 24-7. When you start crying and you start grieving and you start remembering everything, then how the person has suffered. Whatever was on that person, go into go for deliverance. They will teach you these things. You open a door because you're weak during that time. And the devil just enters. Human is weak and devil is stronger and ready to attack you. You can easily lose yourself and God walks out and you become a landlord of the devil. You know God has never been a landlord. God is the lord of the land. Learn to say things. When you're praying, you're like, God, you are the landlord. No, 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 no. It is you who is the landlord. God is the lord of the land. Psalms 24, verse 1 to 10. Go back and read. I told you those who gave birth to babies 2016 up to now, dedicate your babies, take your babies to a pastor if you don't know how to do it, and they dedicate your baby afresh. Don't play around with that baby. Those babies you're carrying are prophets. Those babies you carried are presidents. Those babies you carried are the next, next, next generation that is was birthed. Because a mega change in, in the entire world started in 2016. You haven't been following, so you will go and do your homework. Everything is on my wall. You're supposed to attend push as a must. You're supposed to attend never give up. That is Kansanga Miracle Center. You're supposed to attend Apostle Bunjo and Jojo Bunjo, Heavenly Intelligence, with Abigail. Word for the soul. I keep sharing everything and tag some of you, invite some of you, and you complain. Those are, those are a must. You missed the divine encounter. Before the divine encounter, it was heavenly intelligence. Andrew Chisaka was the person I had to say that thing first. Then it comes down in Apostle Bonjo and Jojo Bonjo. Bonjo is something gets Esther 414, the 7,000. Some of you are not part of the 7,000. Don't push it so hard. You're going to make everyone die. Because you keep saying words about people who are in the 7,000. Please say it with your husband and your children. Don't involve other people. Your only responsibility is your house. Don't make other people die because of you. And you're spreading words very badly. Learn to appreciate other people. Learn to work with other people. Stop the one man the show. 
Don't use your mouth to backbite. Use your mouth to pray. Otherwise, a more partial will come and you will be busy. Instead of complaining, the Lord will shut down your social media. And you're like, my phone does not work. I block it out. And you're not getting any more data. Why? Because you're faulting. And the Lord wants to open for those who are ready to get out. And for you, you're not ready. Hence, you're going to be eating posh. You are supposed to attend. Pastor Ben Ochoa. You're supposed to attend. Auntie Mo. Counseling. Pastor Mark. Deliverance. That one was not specific. We have Duncan Williams. We have Pastor Tom Mugirwa. Well, specifically, there is the one called Mosa Ture for the West Africans. Deliverance. And guess what? Duncan Williams, West Africa. He's a giant. We have the stand in the U.S. I keep posting him there and tag, you invite you. Because after pushing, you're supposed to get out of the labor ward. Those other things you're attending are a bonus. Some of, I, I, the Lord said post everything. Why? Me, I went through almost everything I am posting. Because I was everywhere. You, have, you don't know these guys. And the Lord is like, post them so that they can also attend. Nangabo Christian Fellowship. Pastor Serwada. Post, post, post. And those are the guys you keep fighting. And they have everything you I keep posting everything. We have younger blood. You have not yet seen. Miracle Center, there is a Sunday school teacher that died in January. Barbara. When she died, they had a church. Life celebration arena Nakabugo. Did you know that? The father and the son are there. Have you followed up? You know when someone dies, we move on. A few daughters like Malalo, guess what? They leave family behind. I started posting them. I was like, hey. Some people know them, some people don't know. Some people just, just desire to move out. Life celebration arena Nakawugo. Barbara died and left a husband and a son. And they have a church. I will post them after the class. You tell us that you love people. Do you bother calling those people you, you say you love? Do you follow up to find out how they are, whether they eat? Everyone whose birthday is celebrated and you get a word, a scripture, please read the scripture and be serious about it. The fivefold ministries is a, is a, is a, is a serious thing. Stop playing around. The fivefold ministries we have the apostle, the prophet, the teacher, the pastor, and the evangelist. Those ones make up the church. Then we have originality, availability, righteousness, the word of God, and prayer. They are also five. Push has five letters. It is it push p. Pray until something happens. For them, they are four. Stand has five. Is it? Let's check. S-T-A-N-E-D. The divine encounter. Never give up. I wrote them behind it. I told you I don't like cramming. It is not part of my nature. That's why I love reading all the time. And I go back and I revise. Because when you cram, you're in trouble. That is why those who are doing a Bible marathon, please. Bible marathon. You are reading a novel. You're still sleeping and you're saying, I am reading the Bible. No, 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 no. You are reading a novel. A Bible study. One day like this is enough for you to read just one chapter and you do a Bible study. Be careful. 
the people who have done it for so long have, have experience when they're doing their Bible study. When they come out to preach, you can take off and you're like, my God, but some of you are just reading. No. Oh, they told us Bible miracles. And you read three chapters, five chapters, ten chapters. You're not doing a study. You're reading a novel. That is why you're faulting at everything. We looked at the ego. It has five letters. Be very careful. When I see a Bible study complaining about things, I'm like, and you're, you're reading the Bible, right? Oh, I get it. You're confusing the, the entire team. Yet when we are happening now, you're supposed to be one unity. And guess what? Ah, the one world order, they do everything in the same way in China, in Canada. COVID came and he attacked the entire. But you church, you're still doing your church programs. Let me leave it at that. Everyone's supposed to help everyone. Unless someone sends pornography to your Bible study, that is when you rise up and attack and grumble and get it, get it. That one I'll be behind you when you're that one I'll be behind you. That is if Jesus wants us to. But if Jesus has not said anything, you will be alone. I'll stand here and I watch over the land. Intercessors. Let me hope. Intercessors, you got the message. Stay away from Elijah's list. I saw people joining the intercessors for Uganda. Let me hope the Lord is now speaking to intercessors in Uganda. And the